and to let the heart be broken open rather than broken closed. My own story um, brought together both Buddhist meditation practice and 12-step recovery uh, at the same time. You know, when I looked inside myself at that time, all I saw was a lot of anger and fear and lust and judgment. And I didn't see much goodness, so I couldn't really access that place of inner power, inner goodness in the beginning. When I approached the 12 steps in a serious way to start working through them, I had to do exactly what I think uh, the 12 step program suggests, which is externalizing a higher power of actually believing in something outside of ourselves rather than only inside of ourselves. And even though I didn't really believe, I just started praying to some, something outside of myself. Uh, and the experience of prayer in conjunction with meditation and meetings and service and really had a powerful effect, more powerful than just meditation alone, when I started uh, letting go more and more of control. And maybe we could just take a moment to kind of introduce ourselves and what, you know, what kind of being drug free and in recovery uh, has been like in conjunction with some meditation or some Buddhist practices. I love recovery and I love, you know, my life today. It seems like it goes really well together, Buddhism and recovery. It's helped me out immensely. Like I don't, I wouldn't be where I'm at physically, mentally, or spiritually, had I not taken the steps this time around to meditate and, and you know, stay sober. Um, and it's a part of my daily life. Now, I'm not perfect. I don't, I don't do anything on a daily basis, you know, that I wake up, breathe, and eat. Um, but more than less, I uh, keep a conscious contact with my higher power, and I, I pray, and I meditate, 